everybody's take on what digital is is different. And I sort of come to it from studying jacquard weaving and the history of computers. And I'm interested in the whole idea that the computer was invented because of the jacquard loom. So it's, it's not really new technology. If you go all the way back to the very beginning, to the, weaving itself was new technology in 2000 BCE when somebody figured out how to make warp and weft. That was new technology and it was as new for them as what the computer is for us. So basically each one of us, each one of us artists is going to have a different take on it. Every time you learn something new, it's a new technology. And I don't I don't um, separate out the idea of computers with new technology. When I worked as an undergraduate with photography, we did a lot of photo printmaking. And I did a lot of working with Codalus. I miss the Codalith. I miss the copy camera. That was my favorite way of working. You can't even find a copy camera anymore to make a Codalith with in that old kind of color separation. But back then, that was new technology. And I began weaving because weaving was a way to make imagery, and it was a way to make imagery without drawing, without painting, with actualizing in material. And I liked the connection to the whole history of tapestry weavers and people that had been weaving. So that, before I went to Rhode Island School of Design, that's what I was doing, was doing weaving of little tapestries and making a living, making handbags, trying to figure out ways to make them faster and better. So I then I had to go to a new technology from a tapestry, which is two harnesses on a frame, and you make the frame yourself. So using hand tools, what level of technology is that? Going to a multi-harness loom and double weave more complicated structures and then entering school to study textile design. As the years went by, every time there was some kind of a new technology for making my imagery or making my work in a new way, I would integrate it. And whether that means that I've always used technology or not, I don't know. When I left RISD and went to Smith, that's when I started doing photo silk screening and using the camera a lot. I managed the, the photography laboratories there and did a lot of very, very basic hands-on work with black and white photography. And that's kind of where it stopped. And for years, it was just textile printing, using photography, keeping them separate, not being able to really find a way to make the two things come together. My work for the past 15 years has been a constant evolution of ch shifting and changing intermarriage of technology and material, material expression through different ways of making. You know, tech, making textiles requires lots of different processes. In pre-digital, per se, then it's printing and dyeing. In the digital realm, all of a sudden, I no longer have to use a lot of these laborious, time-consuming hand processes to achieve a result. So one thing that, dig that the digital tapestry weaving jacquard program in particular is a fluidity of process. I'm able to make, and, and when we look at that sample, I'm able to make a lot of different objects quickly and to reference back and forth between concept and object without having to do a lot of it on paper. And it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword because it's brought a fluidity to the process, but it's also brought a dependence on the technology. So you have all these, you have hundreds, I have hundreds and thousands of virtual designs, designs that I can never use, where before when I was doing things by hand, it would be pretty much I'd design something. There might have been 10 or 20 thumbnail sketches, but it would all go to a single product. So here, it's brought a much richer diversity of 
potentials for expression. When I first saw the Jacquard Loom at RISD, I fell in love. I, this thing would allow you to weave any kind of imagery, any kind of structure, quickly, instantly, with instant results, and I could get all of the three-dimensionality and the integration into material of my images that I couldn't get with the printmaking on the surface. It was a way to get inside of the surface of the material. So it really was for jacquard weaving, and digital printing is something I'm interested in now, but I'm much more interested in the potential of jacquard weaving because it creates the material and the image simultaneously. And my dream is to move the next step. I'd like to create a weaving without the cloth and just do it with light. <laughs>